Queen's Gambit declined, Harwitz, Fianchetto defense. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Black had a good opening, but White was on another level. It was an incredible middle game by both players. Both players had incredible precision in the end game. Opening with the Queen's Pawn. The Indian game begins by controlling the important e4 square with the knight, rather than a pawn. By taking control of the crucial d5 square and creating a space on which the knight can move to c3 without obstructing the c-pawn, move c4 helps to create a strong center. The move e6 creates a line for the dark squared bishop, sets up a rapid castle, and prepares to push a pawn to d5 and recover the piece if it is taken. Nf3 develops toward the center, putting pressure on the e5 square and adding another defender to the d4 pawn. As it occupies space in the center, attacks the c4 pawn, and aids in maintaining control of the e4 square. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. b7 develops the bishop, supports the knight on f6 and prepares castling. bf4 develops the bishop toward the center and controls the e5 square. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. e3 allows the light squared bishop to develop and supports the d4 pawn. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. This exchange is fair. Recaptures. It is the last book move. This overlooks an opportunity to develop a bishop by placing it on the long diagonal. It is an inaccuracy. This protects the bishop who was attacked. It is quite good. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. The pawn is now on a square that is safer. It is ideal. This exchange is fair. It is ideal. Backs off. It is quite good. Now that the rooks can see one another, they can defend one another. It is quite good. By growing a queen from its beginning square, this activates the queen. It is ideal. This requires an open file, a typical technique for rook activation. It is quite good. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. It is ideal. A wise decision. It is quite good. That is a logical response. It is quite good. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. Now that the rooks can see one another, they can defend one another. It is ideal. This provides an equal exchange of parts. That's good. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. Backs off. It is quite good. Now that the rook is on an open file, it is easier to control squares all over the board. That's good. This suggests exchanging items of equivalent value. That's good. That's a decent move. That's good. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. The rook is now in a safe position. This may succeed in winning a bishop. It is ideal. This makes it impossible for the adversary to win a bishop. It is ideal. A powerful play. It is quite good. A rook enters the action after developing outside of its starting square as a result. It is quite good. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is quite good. Recaptures. It is ideal. This exchange is fair. It is quite good. Backs off. It is ideal. By moving a rook from its starting square, this activates it. It is ideal. This requires an open file, a typical technique for rook activation. It is ideal. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. It's alright. That's good. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. As a result, the bishop may now control more squares because it is in a better position. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. Among the best actions. It is quite good. A wise decision. It is quite good. 
That is a logical response. It is quite good. The knight can now control more squares as a result. It is quite good. That's a decent move. That's good. This moves the checking rook farther away. It is ideal. This puts doubled pawns in front of the opponent's king, diminishing its safety and weakening the pawn structure. It is ideal. Recaptures. Black is equal at this point in the endgame. It is ideal. So, the attacked pawn is protected. It is quite good. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. A pawn kicks the opposing knight, forcing it to move or risk being captured. This poses a knight winning threat. It is ideal. This suggests exchanging items of equivalent value. It is quite good. It is a fair deal after all captures. That's good. Backs off. It is ideal. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. It is ideal. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This misses an opportunity to strike at the center with a pawn. It is an inaccuracy. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This hits in the middle and prevents the opponent from gaining ground. It is ideal. This is the way to win a pawn. This is the only move that works. It is best. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. This exchange is fair. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. This defends the attacked pawn. This is the only good move. It is a great move. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This is the only good move. It is a great move. It's compelled. This turns the pawn into a passed pawn, which means no other pawn may oppose it as it advances. It is ideal. It's compelled. That was a free pawn. It is best. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Black had a good opening, but white was on another level. It was an incredible middle game by both players. Both players had incredible precision in the end game.